last time on The Bill. Okay, on the tailpiece, to replace this last seal, we had to pull this pin out uh, in order to get it out. It fits in a groove just like this, so it keeps this from sliding in or out and it holds it in place. So we drove this out, uh, we've got this off. Now all we have to do is take the rear seal off, clean it up, and uh, we'll start putting this transmission back together. Now the last thing is to get the seal out, and we're gonna use uh, basically a typical seal remover tool where you just get in there, you hook it, and and pry it and get it out. Uh, the last thing to do on the tail shaft is the speedometer gear. We pulled it out, the gear is okay, but at the same time, uh, when we disassembled it, it had a gear converter uh, basically put on here, so that changes the speed of the output for the speedometer cable. Well, when the car is done, we'll check the speedometer gear, and if it's not accurate, we'll just change the gear itself to make it right versus putting this add-on piece on. So all in all, it's looking good and it's getting ready to go back together. Okay. Close. Keep coming. Right there. We've got our reverse gear here. And this is, uh, since it's all the way in reverse, this little groove right here is what mount, or slides onto this gear, moving it in and out so it goes in and out of reverse. So we've got it set so it's locked into reverse, which means the two gears are engaged. And once we get it all the way on there, we should be able to shove this in and it'll lock onto this gear and it's set. So uh, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Go all the way around, then take your finger and smooth it out. There you have it, our Muncie 4-speed and our Hearst shifter ready to go in the car.